today I'm reviewing the Abib Heartleaf Sun Essence Calming Drop. And really quick, I just want to say, purchase these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsb.com. Check my Patreon community or click on the link below. Okay, I haven't mean to review this one for some time. And I really like it. And, and I mentioned it in a video the other day. And a lot of you said you wanted me to review it. So finally, da -da -da -da, reviewing it. Here we go. Um, and I will say, I don't have the UV camera. I actually... Uh, lend it to a friend of mine who's doing some amazing things and i'll try and link to their instagram they're doing some really cool things with it so way cooler than what i've done so okay so they say this lightweight yet powerful sunscreen comes with the skincare benefits of an essence fitted with an spf 50 pa plus 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 uh, and infused with 50 parts per million of heart leaf extract it effectively blocks off uv rays and external aggressors while soothing and hydrating skin quick absorbent formula leaves neither white cast nor tacky finish i tend to agree with a lot of that so okay first criteria is packaging i really appreciate the packaging it's different for a sunscreen to be in a dropper bottle but i do like the fact that uh it's dark so you can't see through it yeah and it's very heavy I don't think I can bring this to the cabin. It, it's going to weigh too much, but whatever. It's a glass bottle. So it's recyclable, which is awesome. Okay, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, uh, denatured alcohol is the fourth ingredient in this. Um, it gives it a light texture because the alcohol dries down and absorbs quite quickly. So I've given up the fight of fighting with denatured alcohol and sunscreens. I prefer not to have it on anything else. But for some sunscreens, it does make the formula absorb quicker and smooth over skin easier. So um, anyway, so there we go. Uh, in terms of fragrance, there's no fragrance ingredients, but it does have an herbal scent. I'm assuming it's from the Heartleaf. I've noticed uh, the Heartleaf extract. I've noticed other products that have Heartleaf in there has a little bit of a fragrance. It's not overwhelming. It dissipates immediately. And it's not like it's an added fragrance, so that's a better deal. I'll take fragrance if it has benefits, like vanilla, great for skin. So I'll take that. Um, okay, manufacturing location for this one is Korea, which for sunscreens, I, uh, after the last couple of years, I don't really, I think sunscreens made in Korea are a liability at this point until they change some laws. It seems like a lot of brands are reformulating their products and doing their own testing, which they should have done to begin with, but whatever. It is still, it's a liability. That's it. It's a liability. Um, okay, SPF level is 50, which is great for uh, every day, great for being outside. 50 is great. Um, okay, UVA protection factor. This one is a PA with four pluses after it, which indicates um, above average SPF protection. And the nice thing is for, uh, I'm going to review the new Claire sunscreen. Um, hang on. And you're re reviewing the new Claire sunscreen uh, this week as well. And what I want to mention is these both have PA with four pluses after them for the sunscreens. However, the uh, Abib contains uh, Uvenol A+, plus, which is a U UVA filter. Tinsorb S, which is also a UVA filter. Tinsorb M, partly in the UVA range, and then Uvasorb HEB, also partly in the UVA range. So we've got four different filters in this product which address UVA rays. The Claire's only has, I believe, one. Uh, I think it was Uvenol A+. So this one, in terms of UVA protection, it's probably going to be better than a lot of the other ones because we've got four different filters for that. Okay, so then let's talk about all of the filters. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six different filters in this sunscreen, which makes me think it's pretty darn reliable. The new Claire's has four. This one has six. Was that like 30% more? Okay, so we'll talk about that, and then I'll get to the white cast. So for filters used, we've got Uvenol A+, UVA chemical filter, high UVA protection and photostability. We've got Tinsorb S, which is a UVA and UVB filter, covers the whole UVB and UVA range, um, hardly deteriorates, and also is great at stabilizing other sunscreen ingredients. We've got Polysilicone 15, which is a silicone-based chemical sunscreen agent that protects the skin in the UVB range. UVB rays are the ones that burn us. UVA rays are the ones that age us. Uh, we've got Tinsorb M hybrid, hybrid sunscreen, meaning it's kind of in between a physical and a chemical filter. It's kind of unique there, um, but it does a really nice job in terms of filtering out uh, UVB as well as UVA rays. Nice broad, broad spectrum protection there. 
We've got Uvenol T150, another chemical sunscreen agent that gives the highest photostable absorption of all UVB filters today and uh, works in the UVB range. And then finally, we've got that Uvisorb HEB, which is a chemical sunscreen agent, oil soluble, uh, gives really high SPF values with just a small amount of it, um, and uh, only loses 10% of its SPF protection abilities in 25 hours. Whereas two hours is considered photostable, 25 hours is impressive. So really nice. Six different filters in here. Great UVA and UVB filters. They did a really good job. Whereas a lot of other sunscreens will just throw in one UVA, UVA filter and call it broad spectrum. They actually did a good job with this. So, Okay, in terms of the white cast... So they use Tinserv M, which typically gives sunscreens a little bit of a white cast, but this one really, uh, once you smooth in the skin, really doesn't give much of a white cast. And my skin is very pale, so I don't notice it, but uh, there we go. Has a little bit of a white cast, I can see, but not terribly so, and not like you think when you think of like zinc oxide-based sunscreens. So um, no issues with that. Texture of it. It's nice, it's liquidy, but it doesn't feel greasy or oily. You know, some of them that are liquidy can feel like oily or just kind of gross. This one doesn't. It absorbs pretty quickly, too. I like the texture, and I like the fact that it absorbs and sets pretty quickly. Um, so ease of use. So apply. they say to apply two drops of the product to skin and pat gently to absorb. Um, two drops is probably not going to be enough. You're probably going to want to use at least half a dropper or a full dropper, depending on if you're using it on your face, face and neck, face, neck, and chest. Um, so there you go. Plays well with other products. Um, yeah. And I like the fact that it sets to a natural finish. It's not super shiny. It's not matte. But, yeah, it works well under pro other products. So, Okay. Antioxidants and beneficial ingredients in this one. So we've got uh, that Hatunia Cordata Extract, which is a heart leaf. It's a good antioxidant. It's a good soothing ingredient. Um, it's great for anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and antibacterial properties. Um, it's also been shown to help with uh, de decreased damage from UV UVB rays, which is a total bonus. Um, also has a good flavonoid content. And, uh, yeah, so has nice anti-allergic effects and could be helpful in treating skin allergies such as eczema. So really wonderful. Uh, we've got niacinamide, skin brightening, antioxidant, anti-acne, cell communicating ingredient. Uh, we've got tri triticum evistium seed extract, which is a skin conditioning ingredient and also has some uh, perfuming properties, which probably gives this the light scent it has. Uh, we've got panthenol, uh, skin soothing and hydrating ingredient. We've got licorice root extract, skin brightening and soothing ingredient. And then finally, we've got adenosine, which is a good cell communicating ingredient. So not a crazy long list of beneficial ingredients, but we've got some nice ones, antioxidants, soothing ingredients, calming ingredients. So, um, And then the wonderful part is when we get to acneogenic ingredients, there are zero of note, which is wonderful for acne-prone skin. No ingredients of note at all. Okay, when we come to animal testing, I couldn't find anything either way. I emailed the brand. I have not heard back. Um, and I just, I don't see anything on their packaging or anything else. Emailed them. Didn't hear back. So at this point, I have to assume that they're not cruelty-free unless I hear otherwise. I have to assume. It's better to assume that they aren't and not have people using it and spending their money on it than thinking it is. But when I, if I hear back, I'll update and leave a link or a info below. Okay, in terms of performance, so I really like it. It's a nice one for daily use. I can't use it for like weeks and weeks and weeks at a time just because the alcohol starts to dry up my skin a little bit, but using it two or three times a week is just fine. No issues with that. Um, you know, it feels really nice on skin. There you go. And it, you can see it just sets to a natural finish. It doesn't look matte. It doesn't look shiny. It's kind of right in between there. Um, and uh, really wonderful for acne-prone skin types as well, which is really hard to find a good sunscreen. This one... It's all that. Uh, and then in terms of the price, so this is the full size, which is 50 milliliters, 1.7 ounces, and it retails for about $23. So it's pretty darn affordable. What is that? That's less than 50 cents a milliliter. So that's a good deal. Um, 
Then when we come to the uh, score, a 15 would be a perfect score. Uh, this one got a 12, which is pretty darn good. It has a lot of good things going for it. I really think uh, a lot of people, it's worth giving it a try. And hopefully they'll email ba me back, and I hope they're cruelty-free. Because if they are, then I can repurchase it. If not, I'm not going to repurchase it. So, anyway. But I do really like it, so there we go. Um, interesting from you guys if you've had a chance to check this out yet or not and if you have what your thoughts are so definitely leave a comment love hearing from you guys and uh stay tuned for more tomorrow yeah i mean they got 12 out of 15 that's pretty good but uh the the uh, cruelty free thing and the korea thing they're too i mean anything that they have in control in their control aside from the cruelty free thing they did on their they did right so and that doesn't happen very often so anyway okay Leave a comment. I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.